Hey guys, it's Lisa from 2CreatorWebsite.com and today this is a video that has been requested by a lot of you guys. How do I create a video page banner like you see here is the question a lot of you guys have been asking me. First off, you have to be a YouTube partner. There are tons of videos all over YouTube on how to be a partner so make sure you check those out. Also, don't confuse the video page banner with the YouTube channel banner that shows up at the top of your channel. There's a difference. This is the page banner. So once you become a partner, you go to your channel homepage and you'll have some tabs up here. One will say branding options. The other one will say video page branding. Here is where it will tell you the requirements for the image. So 170 by 25 pixels is the maximum size. So I'm going to create mine to look very similar to the one on my Lisa 3876 channel. Oh, sorry, I guess I should explain. I don't have one on this channel, my to create a website channel. So I'm going to create one and I figured might as well do a video. So I'm going to make it the same as this one, but I'm just going to change the background color basically. So let's go over to Photoshop and you can use any image editing program you want. I'll also put a link in the description to a great article where it gives you 11 free Photoshop alternatives for those of you that don't have Photoshop and you don't want to spend a ridiculous amount of money to buy it. I totally understand in these times. So there are a bunch of free alternatives out there. Paint.net, GIMP, you name it. So I'm going to do mine in Photoshop and I'm going to go over to File, New and we're going to give it a 170 by 25 pixel size because that's what YouTube said the maximum is. Now in Photoshop you can click Control plus to blow up your palette. When I'm creating small images like this I like to see it in a larger view because sometimes it's hard to work with small palettes. So for the background color there's many ways to paint a palette in Photoshop but I'm going to do it this way. So I'm going to right click the layer, go to blending options and I'm going to give it a color overlay. Right now the default is red, so I'm going to click this. I know the hex color I want already. It's D29C1A. I know that because I use this color a lot on my website. So I'm going to say OK. And now I'm going to put my image in the left corner like I have on my other channel. So I've already brought it up here. So I'm just going to click. I have to make sure the Move tool is selected up here. And I'm going to take this and just drag it. Now obviously it's way too big so I'm going to hit Control T and hold down the shift key until the image is the right size. And then I'm going to hit the check up here. Now it looks blurry because I'm looking at this in 300%. Remember I blew up the palette. So when I shrink it down it's not going to be that blurry. So now I'm going to put the word subscribe in here because your YouTube video banner automatically links to your channel homepage where people can subscribe. So that's why a lot of people like to say subscribe on their banners. Okay, so click the checks. I'm going to, I'm going to go over here to the move tool and move this where I want it. And now I'm going to add the little mouse pointer which sort of encourages people to click. I like to do that sometimes. So I'm going to go over here to the custom shape tool and press it. And up here you can click a little drop down and you'll get a bunch of different tools. And I'm going to click this one right here. And I'm just going to click and drag and I'm going to be able to draw this pointer right on the image. Okay, and I can use my move tool up here to move it where I want to move it. And I can use my arrow keys to inch it around. Now I want to give my word subscribe a stroke. So I'm going to come over here to my layers palette and make sure I've selected that layer. I'm going to right click, blending options, stroke. I don't want it to be red or that big. I'll make it black. And I'm going to make it one pixel. And so there we have it. Now I'll probably tweak this a little bit, but I just wanted to give you guys an idea of how to do this. Make sure you check out the link in the description 
for some alternatives to Photoshop if you need a graphics program. So once you're done, you'll just save this as a PNG, JPEG, GIF, whatever you want to save it as. You go back to your channel, look for that video page branding tab, hit browse, upload it, and you're done. It's that easy. Thanks for watching, you guys. Bye-bye.